Hello, everybody. So I have a French accent. <laughs> so if you don't understand what I said, let me know. Um, <clears throat> so the goal of uh, my presentation <clears throat> is not really to present what is Wazo. I introduced you Wazo, but uh, is not the, the goal of this presentation. The goal of this presentation is to present what is possible to develop with Wazo. <clears throat> um, so Wazo is, uh, is a new name for many of, uh, of you because it's, um, it's a new, it's not a new product, but it's a, it's a fork of uh, my old product I created in 2005. His name is Xivo. Um, I fork it in uh, one years ago. Uh, it's based on 12 years ago, 12 years of R&D. Uh, we um, we are based uh, in in France at the beginning, but now we are in uh, in Quebec, Quebec City in, uh, in Canada. And uh, we are now a small company. We are four developers, but uh, we grow. <laughs> And we have uh, 12 system integrators uh, uh, in the world. And we have more th 30, uh, 50 downloads per week uh, since we started uh, the project. Um, <coughs> and um, our mission is uh, simplify the unified communication. Um, we believe it, um, it's complicated to, uh, to create uh, many interaction uh, with uh, other system in uh, unified communication. And um, we create this platform uh, to, uh, to help the people to create uh, added value uh, around the unified communication. So it's a free software. It's based on a GPL version 3 uh, license. Um, and our goal is to have um, a product um, uh, API-centric and API-native. Um, I'll be back about, uh, about this API after. Um, we want to simplify the process between uh, the, the business workflow between uh, uh, different applications. And um, uh, we have uh, native uh, functionality uh, like voice, chat, presence, and video now with Asterix 15. Uh, and we have some uh, third party application we integrate uh, to help you uh, for, um, for have a, 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 a unified communication uh, simplified. And uh, we want to scale uh, our product. So it's um, our web interfaces. It's a, it's a, like administration for um, for the for Wazo. It's a simple web uh, interfaces, and you offer every um, every component you need to create a user line a device etc cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, and we have user interfaces. So we have mobile application. A web application and desktop application. <coughs> um, w we believe um, open source is a is a development model, and uh, and sometimes uh, we have people say, "Oh, it's uh, it's open source, or it's uh, it's not." Uh, it's not a commercial product, and uh, it's, it's, it's not robust as a commercial product. But uh, uh, in Wazo, we don't believe this. We have many, many tests. And uh, we love uh, quality. And we have uh, a testing platform. So we have functional test, unit test, charge test, and upgrade test. And we release every three, week, three weeks um, a new um, version of Wazo and a new stable version of Wazo. So we have a three-week sprint, uh, and we start uh, this uh, development method, uh, I think, uh, six or seven years ago. So um, 
We did this uh, for a long time. Okay, <coughs> so the goal of my presentation is to present you our REST API. So what is possible with Wazo with our REST API, um, our WebSocket, uh, our webhook, and um, how it's possible to uh, create plugin uh, in Wazo uh, to add uh, new value and, uh, and, and uh, the possibility to, uh, to change uh, the feature of Wazo uh, without modifying the, the core of Wazo. Uh, because uh, it's complicated to, uh, to patch uh, open source projects and, uh, and to, uh, to maintain it uh, if you don't have uh, the plugins possibility. So, um, the how to create plugin in Wazo? Uh, it's um, we decided to uh, to base our plugin system on Debian packaging. So Wazo, it's a it's a distribution based on uh, on Debian, but uh, Debian packaging is not really simple. <laughs> so we decided to uh, simplify uh, this system. Um, and um, the plugin can be installed by our market or directly by a Git URL. So it's easy to, uh, to, uh, to install new plugin, uh, not specially on a marketplace, but uh, if you have a, a GitHub, for example, you can develop your, uh, your plugin and uh, give the URL at the Wazo user and they install your plugin easily. Um, what you need for this, you need a, a Wazo directory in your source code. So it's like a Debian uh, directory. Uh, plugin YAML inside this directory and the rule script uh, to build the, the plugin. I show you after. And uh, Debian dependencies is supported. So imagine your plugin need a specific uh, uh, Debian dependencies. You can put it on a plugin YAML. And, um, the plugins group uh, is also supported. So if you create many different plugins and you want to install every plugin with only a, a meta plugin, uh, it's, uh, it's also possible. <coughs> uh, the plugin concept is Wazo is, is, is to be open. So we want to be um, um, really open and uh, for example, if you want to add uh, new forms in the web interfaces, it's possible. But if you want to add, for example, uh, only uh, uh, a specific dial plan, uh, it's possible to, uh, to create a plugin. And you can use for every install you, uh, you did on, uh, with your Wazo. Uh, you could add new software or audio file, etc., etc. Um, it's also possible to add new code to enhance uh, the core um, of Wazo. <coughs> so I have a, a simple example I want to, uh, to show you uh, today. Uh, is based on a discussion on a, on a forum, uh, I think uh, two weeks ago, um, about um, Facebook and the notification of Facebook uh, with uh, with Wazo, uh, so I decided to uh, to wrote a, a small plugin and uh, and to use it in uh, in my presentation. Um, so to create the plugin, um, so the plugin YAML is look like this. So you have a name, a namespace, uh, a version of your plugin uh, with the author, and. Uh, it's possible to decide what the Wazo version, minimum Wazo version uh, you could use uh, for this plugin. Uh, and you have a home page and uh, it's a tag, so you can add a, a different tag if you want. Uh. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> So if we look uh, inside the plugin, so we have the 
Waso directory. Inside we have the plugin YAML. And we have a rule, it's a bash script. And you say what you want for build, package, install, and then install the, the plugin. So it's, it's not really complicated. And when you create this package, uh, you use your services named uh, Wazo Plugin Day, uh, and it creates Debian packages uh, with, uh, with your source file. And what the plugin did, it did, uh, uh, it creates a, um, a new entry in the web interfaces uh, to configure uh, the Facebook webhook. Uh, it creates a new entry in, uh, in a webhook uh, daemon uh, to permit to uh, receive the webhook from Facebook. So if you create um, a page on, uh, on Facebook, like a Wazo page, and people want to uh, uh, ask a question on your page, or for example, you go on a web page, uh, on a Wazo Facebook web page, and you say, uh, I, I want to speak to, with your commercial uh, people. And uh, Wazo answered and say, yes, there is these guys and these guys, and you say, okay, I want to call these guys, and uh, it's possible to have a, a callback or something like this to, uh, to discuss directly with, uh, with people you want uh, to have. And another feature it's possible to have is to send a notification on a, on a, web, on a Facebook um, a page. Uh, for example, uh, if you have a, a new call, uh, you can receive a notification on a Facebook Messenger uh, and you say, hey, you have a new call. <laughs> and it's possible to create uh, forms to say, hey, I want to, uh, to get this call. So in, uh, in Wazo, like I said, we have many, many uh, REST API. So REST API in Wazo, it's, um, it's really important for, the, for us because when you, we create new feature, we already have new REST API. Uh, we, are, we use uh, uh, Open API spec, so it's a swagger before uh, they merge uh, this project. And we have uh, all of our documentation on api.wazo.community, but it's the la latest uh, documentation. But if you want to uh, see uh, what uh, version you have, you only need to use uh, the slash API on, uh, on your Wazo server, and uh, you could see the, the REST API. And I just want to show you. Okay, so for example, uh, we have, uh, it's, it's a big file. <laughs> Imagine you want to create, uh, I don't know, uh, a new group. Uh, it's possible to, uh, uh, you have the uh, get groups create groups, so if you want to create a new groups, uh, you have every documentation here, and uh, it's easy to use uh, uh, JavaScript or Python or, or what, uh, what language you, uh, you want uh, to create a new group. And Something. Sorry. And every time we create a new service, so a new service for us is like uh, uh, 
like configuration service. And we create a Python SDK uh, client. So for example, uh, you could install the, um, the, the ConvD client and uh, you can use directly uh, with Python. So it's, it's really simple and really easy to, uh, for example, so we did create group. So create is like c.users.create for a user, but for a group it's c.groups.create and you put uh, the JSON uh, directly in, uh, in your function. So it's, it's easy to create uh, and uh, to, um, to maintain uh, external application uh, to, uh, to play with, uh, with Wazoo. But, uh, sorry, there is not only configuration. If you want to play, for example, uh, with your calls, it's possible to get the list of your call, uh, create a new call, and get a call. Uh, it's possible to transfer a call. Uh, we, for example, we have voicemail. So there is many, many action uh, on, um, on, your, on your call or on your, or on your unified communication. Um, we have uh, for agents, for call center, uh, for um, uh, unified uh, contacts. Uh, it's possible, for example, uh, to have your contacts in a held app or active directory. And when you use um, the dear day services, uh, you, you, you can search a contact and you have every um, uh, contact listed in your held app or Active Directory or in web services or where you want. Okay, next interface. Sorry. Uh, next interface is Webhooks. So it's it's different because uh, REST API it's external program. Send a HTTP request, uh, and uh, you put an action. But Webhooks is different. Um, Every event in Wazo uh, will be pushed in, uh, in uh, message buses, and it's possible to subscribe to this uh, message and send um, a hook, so HTTP hook, for example, to an external application. So for example, if you, are, if you receive uh, a call, it's possible to send an HTTP request on I don't know, uh, for, like uh, you want to create a new ticket on, uh, on Zendesk, for example, it's possible to, uh, to do this. Um, we have um, a mechanism to uh, subscribe uh, by, the, by your REST API. REST API. So uh, uh, this is my next demo about, uh, about this. But when you create an event, uh, it's like the other, you have a REST API to create this event on uh, Webhook services. And uh, it's possible to subscribe events for user. So if you want um, only a specific user for a specific user, it's possible to create a Webhook. Um, I'll be back about this. So we have an example for, um, uh, for REST API and WebSocket and WebRTC. It's a, a client we named Unicom. It's a web interfaces, uh, but it only use our REST API. I just want to show you. Where is it? Yeah. So how does it, does it work? Yes, sorry. Um, you, you said, where is your server? And um, 
you use your login and password in Wazo uh, server. So it's possible to, uh, to use um, a held app, for example. If you want to, uh, to be logged with um, a username and login uh, based on held app, it's, uh, it's, it's possible. And uh, you received um, uh, uh, all your favorite contacts, uh, the presency for the phone, the presency for the user. Uh, you, it's possible to change uh, your uh, presency. Uh, if you want, sorry, it's in French. <laughs> but uh, I have an English version, but <laughs> my browser is in French. Um, it's possible to change do not disturb, um, forward, um, uh, unconditional forward, etc., etc., and every action in this uh, Unify uh, web interfaces is based on our REST API. So every action you did, uh, it's a REST API. For example, no. So if I change my presence, you see an action. So it's a put with the payload to, uh, to change uh, the presence. So if you want to create the same web interfaces, it's possible because it's only JavaScript and, uh, and uh, CSS and uh, and HTML. Is that available for, for yeah, it's, uh, it's available on uh, fun.wazo.community uh, for free. So you can use it if you want. Um, OK, so my next example is, um, is oriented to, uh, to user action. And I decided to, uh, to create example with uh, Zapier. I don't know if you, if you know Zapier, but Zapier is, a, is an uh, EFTTT. Uh, is, uh, it helps to synchronize uh, action and trigger between different cloud platform or different application. So I have three examples. The first is get my CDR on Google Sheets get my voicemail on Google Drive, and send and receive and translate SMS uh, on live. Uh, so how does it work? It's not really uh, complicated. <laughs> so you go, uh, you create a con an account on Zapier, and so my first is here. And you choose, and you choose uh, your trigger. So what is a trigger is like an action on the system you watch. Um, so I decided, uh, so we have different uh, uh, trigger on, uh, on the Wazo plugin on uh, Zapier. So I decided to have a trigger on a new CDR. Um, here I have my Wazo account. So the same account I used for Unicom. And after, I need to choose an action. So my action, I choose uh, Google Sheets. Um, and I say I choose a spreadsheet is my CDR, my CDR in France. <laughs> I, I choose uh, uh, the worksheet. And I choose in this sheet what uh, colon correspond to, um, uh, to my uh, uh, input from Wazo. 
So if you want to see, start, end, and third duration from, from name, destination, di direction. So I choose uh, what's the name uh, I want to use. Uh, and after uh, I finish this, it's finished. So we did dangerous demo, yes. <laughs> uh, I, I forget, but uh, it's a um, it's a web address. <laughs> I have a call, okay. And um, I received in in a few minutes. No, no, oh, sorry. Hey. Up. I received my CDR in live in my uh, uh, Google Sheets. So you, you could choose what you want to, uh, to, to, to print. There is a, I chose this, but uh, you can change if you want. So. Um, the nice thing is, uh, is uh, you can add a new zap. So it's, it's, it's really simple zap. It's only, yeah, I have a trigger and I have an action. But if you want, it's possible to have a trigger and uh, action, and another action, and a filter if you want, and another action. So, so you could do uh, what you want with, uh, with Zapier. But with Zapier, it's, um, it's an example, but you're not, it's not necessary to, uh, to use Zapier. It's only because it's really simple and you have a, a really a nice uh, web interfaces to create action between different components. Um, <coughs> My second, uh, oops, sorry. My second uh, demo is with a voicemail. So as as a user, I want to receive my voicemail directly in my Google Drive. So I use another account. Oh, sorry. So I call Sylvain, but I'm not available, so go. I lost the sound. I lost the sound, no? Oh, I did something bad. <laughs> um, I'm not sure I, I leave my voicemail. I'm sorry, I used my uh, 3G uh, connection. <laughs> so, Evan. Yeah, I don't hurt anything. Yeah, well, so my demo is not, uh, it doesn't work. Anyway, <laughs> look like my 3G is, is down. Hello. Hello, 3G. I don't hurt anything. Hello, hello. Uh, okay, so sorry, this demo. Ah, see, yes, yes, he's here. <laughs> Okay, uh, so I received directly in my uh, voicemail uh, directory in my drive uh, uh, my, uh, my voicemail. So how does it work? It's, it's easy. So you go here. So trigger is new voicemail. So I choose new voicemail and I choose to upload I choose a folder and I choose the name of the file and I receive it in my Google Drive. So if you look, I'm sorry, where is it? Yeah, 
Uh, if we check on the web interfaces, Um, you see there is a, the trigger, so it's Zapier register um, a webhook uh, directly on Wazo. Uh, so for example, a uh, new voicemail from Zapier, so it's control, <coughs> new voicemail, sorry, it's here. So if, if I stop, um, this zap, um, it's removed, the, the, the subscribe of the notification is removed directly in, uh, on, uh, on Wazo. But if you want to create webhook, it's simple, you create a name of your webhook, what's the event you want to, sub to be subscribed, and what user you want to subscribe, if you want to subscribe a user, uh, and you can choose uh, services. So by default, we have HTTP services, but as you've seen before, it's possible to create plugin in Wazo. So if you want, you could create like IRC notification or what you want. It's, it's possible to, uh, to create new, uh, new services notification for, uh, for the webhook. Um, my last example, uh, sorry, I need to check, yes, is, uh, is a SMS translation. Um, so I create um, a small uh, application in HTML, JavaScript, CSS. It's it's available on my GitHub if you want to play with it. So how does it work? It's, it's, uh, simple. it's really simple. You connect your user uh, directly on, uh, on Wazo. So it's the same login and same password I used for the other services. So I get a token. And ooh. I miss something really important. Yeah. And if you send me an SMS in English, okay, so for example, hello, Astrican users. Oof. Um. Well. I receive it on my web interfaces, but translate in French. So in French is bonjour, bonjour les utilisateurs d'Astricon. <laughs> but it's possible to do the same. I send from my web interfaces a, a French SMS and I receive it in English. So for example, um, I don't know, for example, what? <laughs> Uh, C'est bientôt la fin. This is the end. So I send to, uh, uh, to the number and I receive it, uh, SMS, he say it's almost the end. It's, it's almost the end. <laughs> I don't know if it exactly is a good translation. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a good English speaker, so sorry. <laughs> but maybe, for, to be simple, <laughs> so, uh, bonjour. <laughs> so he said, <laughs> hello. That's correct, yes? <laughs> good. <laughs> so how does it work? <laughs> um, It's a little more complicated, but it's not really complicated with Zapier. Um, come on. Uh, oh. 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> so you have a trigger. Uh, so the trigger is a uh, use, user chat command event in Wazo, uh, because we have chat in Wazo. Uh, so I'm, subscri I'm, I'm subscribed to chat event in Wazo um, with a SMS option uh, command. Sorry, and when I receive the trigger, I get the text I receive. So I get the message. <coughs> And I say the source language is French, and the target language is English. Is there a the yes, th there is a. Uh, I'm sorry, it's here. It's here. Yes, there is another um, possibility on uh, Zapier translation is to detect language. So it's possible. Yes, and after I use the Twilio to uh, to send SMS. Um, so I send to uh, I, my phone number is uh, is my number, uh, and I use the two number. It's the argument uh, I use for for the chat, and uh, the translation results uh, in the body of the SMS. And another example is with Mattermost. I don't know if you know what is Mattermost, but it's, um, it's like a Slack copy, but in open source. Um, and because it's the example I saw, it's with Zapier, but uh, like I said, it's not necessary to use Zapier, but it's because it's really easy to use. Um, it's, for example, to notify Mattermost. So, Where is my web interface? Is is here. Um, so yeah, yeah. So what I what I did. So it's my CDR. Uh, the event name is call log user created. So the event name is documented on our on our documentation. So I choose my user. Uh, so it's Sylvain. Uh, I choose the, the, the target of my hook and what method uh, I want. So in uh, Mattermost, sorry, it's here. Uh, you could create integration, uh, incoming webhook. So when you create incoming webhooks, you say the name, description, you choose the channel. Uh, and uh, you receive um, uh, uh, HTTP URL uh, where you post the hook. Uh, and it's possible to create. It's really simple. Uh, this, it's really a simple example, but you can do uh, what you want. You create the body. So the body for Matamos is username. Uh, what's the username you want to use? Text and um, we have uh, specific variables. Uh, it's event uh, um, you, 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 you use to push a notification. So if you check on our Matemost in my hook, uh, this is uh, the JSON I received uh, when I made the call uh, just before. But this is a really simple example because in my slide, if I get it, as you've seen, it's possible to create like a, a more beautiful uh, example. <laughs> so it's up to you to understand uh, how Mattermost uh, working to create this. Um, and uh, the next. Uh, example for us is uh, our web interfaces because we are API centric and API native. So our web interfaces, our new web interfaces, using every um, uh, API we deliver in, uh, in Wazo. So it's not, um, our API is not a product um, 
uh, uh, only for for user want to create something. It's it's a product for for us too. So we we consume uh, our API, and uh, and because we consume it, uh, uh, you have. Um, uh, uh, so really important you need to have in, uh, in the system. So thank you for your time. <laughs> um, and uh, do you have a question? I hope you understand what I said. <laughs> 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 this is my first, my, yeah, my first um, presentation in Astrican. I, I did two uh, presentations in S3 DEFCON, but uh, this is not really my first, because my first was in 2006, I think, in, uh, in the first Astricum in uh, Europe, in Paris. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's a long time for me uh, with Asterix. So yes, if you have questions, let me know. I don't eat no, nobody. <laughs> no, no question. Great. Very <laughs> be, be silent, Silvan. Yeah. Well, um, thank you very much, Silvan, for coming. For any of you that have any questions you might want to ask in private, please talk to Silvan afterwards. Um, let's give him a round of applause. Thank him for, for talking. <laughs>